use that in this match. Right away, we can see the size difference there. Nicky Rod coming out very relaxed. He's going to want to stay on top, of course, right? Look at that flexibility when he hit his knees there. Jeez. If you can believe it, Nicky Rod was asleep just minutes prior to this. Jay, that's his crazy. coach, was telling us that's his routine. Takes a little that's nap crazy. right before his matches. Three arm drag attempts here. Wow. Jimenez Ooh. going right in. Now, he loves getting the back off of that double under. Sort He's of the so move we saw at, from the previous well, match, Well, right? we've seen it many times from Roberto Jimenez. Nicky Rod working that reset the best he can there, trying to get a little better spot, but well, the ref did, is not having yeah, it. Yeah, he had the form in the neck, and, and I think that's what he was trying to re recover back, and Roberto wasn't letting him have it, but he had that. He had that. Oh, oh nice. Uchimata there. This may work in Roberto's favor, though. I mean, Nicky oh, backing yeah. out was smart there. Roberto did have an angle on the back. Yeah, reset here in neutral. Had that deep underhook. 2-0. I was Nikki. wondering if Roberto would jump to garlic. We'd seen him do recently, but he wants to test himself here. Take him out on the feet with Nicky Rod. Very interesting. That's well, and as Alan said, you know, we've seen him hit that back take off the double under so many times. He went right to it, and I, you know, he was in good position. Uh, I'm not going to save the out of bounds save Nicky, but it was close. You know, one thing I like about Roberto is that, you know, he gave the two points. He stands back up. He's like, I know that he needs to make. He needs to score a lot more points to beat me. So let's go again. Yeah, definitely. And you know what? I mean, super impressed with Nicky Rod here. I mean, he is not a bit slower than Jimenez. I mean, he is the same speed here. Ooh, nice guard, nice pull, guard there. pull Now, I mentioned it before. I think this close guard is going to be really, really strong for Jimenez. And we saw a similar strategy from him the last time, uh, the last event here, going for the back from the, uh, uh, the close guard here, either from a double underhook or kind of a head and arm position, sneaking around, using that underhook again. Hicks and Gracie style. Raul Jimenez uh, quietly giving out. Um, Raul Jimenez, yeah. never, he's never quiet. He's always <laughs> incredibly vocal. Man, high energy. Uh, high I mean, energy. Sometimes, I mean, that, that may work for some competitors, right? You need that. Well, you know, I mean, obviously Raul knows his son. And he knows what his son needs to hear during the match to be the most effective. And that's what he's doing, you know. Nicky Rod, you know, looking for that inside position. Now he's getting his posture there. But you can see when his posture is broken. He's getting that inside position, that double bicep control. Possibly wanted to hop to his feet or put the knee in the middle. I like the way Roberto's breaking that posture, though. And you see he keeps going for that kind of head and arm control, and he wants to slip around to the back. There's that athleticism coming through from Nicky Raz. He explodes out yeah, of the closed guard. Pops right up, kind of a surfer stance there, two feet on the ground at the same time. Sort of like a cat, right? I mean, you know, very agile. Like see if you see a cartwheel pass coming through. Like Nicky Rod loves doing that from this position here. Like Battle Cat from Or he does that uh, flying uh, knee slice pass, right? Also that, yes. Look at the size difference there. You can really tell the difference <laughs> there. Wow. Ooh, Roberto trying to get maybe back in that closed guard position. Nicky Rod staying well out of danger, though. Yeah, I, like I think that's really his, his go-to strategy here. It looks like that's what he wants. And, uh, I mean, my personal opinion, I think that's the best position for him to be at this point. Although that deep half guard position he had earlier with the underhook, not bad either. Nicky Rod with the body lock pass there. Four now, minutes left here in this match. Possibly Still plenty of time, uh, regulation. Marcelo Garcia type uh, sweep attempt for... Roberto Jimenez. Yeah, now I really like that kind of shoulder control position. You can see him using that grapevine with the left leg to kind of stretch Nicky Rod out, possibly to make another butterfly hook on that side. Now we saw the same sort of grip position. What he wants to do is kind of crank that shoulder over the shoulder, over his own shoulder. Then he can get the head and arm grip. Then he can slip to his left and get to the back. Well, Nicky getting a stalling call right there. Now. As the competitors get more sweaty here, it's going to be harder for Jimenez to use that head and arm grip to get to the back, although the double under will be equally effective, maybe easier. But the more sweat that comes down, that kind of head and arm position, it's a little bit harder to use because the person is able to kind of slip and slide out. Rodriguez doing a good job kind of being in and out. I think he realizes when he gets out of position, he pops out really quickly. A lot, of movement from, a lot of movement from Nicky, but I like the composure from uh, Jimenez right now. He's not really, you know. Yeah, breathing through his nose, too. Looks like he has plenty of stamina here. Nicky Rod got his mouth open just a little bit. And Raul, you know, screaming out that uh, Nicky's mouth is open. Is so that what he said? That's what he said. I just said that. He does look tired. Roberto is calm as ever, though. But you know, sometimes it's it's, it's you know it's the third uh, the first time you're on three CG. You know, you're you're going against a high you know high level black belt. You know, sometimes that gets you a little bit. Yeah. I like the way Roberto's getting the guard. And on again, these you know, I mean, Nicky Rod's bigger. He's not 
you know, against other big competitors, he's not used to quite this pace. Uh, so that might be the deciding factor here. Jimenez is just constantly attacking, and that's something you have to do as a smaller opponent versus a bigger opponent. You have to be able to throw up these continuous attacks, not get discouraged when something doesn't work, and just keep grinding and grinding and grinding until you get a good position. Close guard again. And again, as the match goes on, Jimenez wants to shift from kind of a head and arm control to a double underhook if he wants to get that back. And again, there's that explosion chase yeah. you mentioned. He wow. just kind of popped right Look out of there. Right? Dives right back in. Now he's in a good spot to pass here. He's going to put a lot of pressure right now. that body lock position. He may look for that uh, cross face right here on that yeah, right this arm. This is something that, we, you know, a lot of the guys from Dan Hurt are doing that body lock pass, you know, so tight. And this is where Nicky can really use his size to his advantage here. You know, just kind of really shutting the hip down, working that leg free. You can see he's kind of just trying to stretch, wiggle that leg out. Jimenez looking calm in there. 90 seconds remaining. Let's get loud for these two. You know, I'm kind now, of... Now, if this is going to be interesting, Nicky Rod is up by two points. He's going to get the choice if we go to the overtime here. Now, we got one minute left, a little bit more. You know, if it goes to the decision, what are you guys thinking? I mean, you know, how can Nicky Rod win this or how can Roberto win this, right? Well, if it goes to decision, I think Nicky Rod's going to choose on the feet and try to get the takedown to steal it. Um, but Another stalling call there. That's big. That's big for the score. 2-2. Two, two. Less than a minute remaining. That's two points on the board for the first time. And you know, again, Jimenez going back to that head and arm. But again, as things get more slippery, that head and arm gets less effective. He wants to switch to a double underhook. And then we were able to slide around a bit easier. Chase, what do you think about the overtime? Who, If Nicky Rod gets a choice, what's he going to choose? I think you're right. I think you definitely want to be in the feet. Or maybe even choose close guard, be on top. Um, what about close guard bottom? I don't think that's where he, Nicky Rod would choose to be. You know, a lot of people kind of forget about close guard, big guy against small guy. You Good can, point. Great you point. can really move their arms around, right? I mean, you have a real advantage there. You're controlling their hips. Um, I think it's a dark horse, but we might see that. Ten seconds remaining. Also you know, depends on how gassed he is, I suppose. If he's really tired, that might true. be the move. That's true. That's and, you know, true. the size and power, he may he may push back and then go in for the double leg, right? I mean, that may be a position, too. That's my point. It is, people forget about how the size advantage works, particularly from the close guard. You know, you can really kind of move people around like a bit of a puppet if, if you have a big size advantage. So, ladies and gentlemen, we got an overtime, five-minute golden rule. So, I'm excited to see, you know, Roberto not breathing through his mouth. You know, he looks in great shape. Nicky Rod. You know, taking deep breaths here, but, um, you know, size advantage does, you know. I mean, Nicky Rod's definitely got gas in the tank, but does he have the same amount that Jimenez has? Looks like we're starting Roberto's closed guard where he wants to be. Nicky Rod is out quick, though, almost oh! for the sweep. Yeah, now Jimenez, you see, he almost got up and they went back down, which is a smart choice for him. All right. Po possible oh. knee, uh, flying knee, uh, <laughs> <laughs> knee cut pass here. <laughs> Nicky diving right back into closed guard. This is a great opportunity for Roberto. Now you can see he's got. Now it's a double underhook here. That's what I mentioned. Slams now this is a legal. lot more dangerous than, this, than the, the head and arm. This is a position he wants to be in. Oh, he's lost it now. That was a good chance there. Nicky Rod doing a good job bringing the form in front of the neck and pushing away. Now you got to give it to Jimenez. He is attacking a lot more, right? He's well, I mean, he's been attacking nonstop this whole match. Nicky Rod, I mean, definitely, he's trying to make action, too. He's just getting a little bit caught up. And again, you... you that, that's where experience comes into fact, right? Yeah. Feels weird to say it, but is Nicky Rod on the defensive right now? Something I think I've never uttered in my life. Nicky Rod's always going for, but Roberto has put the pace on him. Well, I don't know if he's on the defensive, but he definitely, you know, he knows where he needs to be to, to neutralize the position that, that Jimenez is throwing at him, right? He's not afraid to kind of push in, back out as he needs to in order to kind of get the better of the position. And I think he's not afraid to, to start over. He'll get out and start over, which is a, definitely a good plan for a, someone who's bigger. He's able to make small mistakes and recover them pr relatively easily because of his size. He can't make Ooh. a big mistake, but he can make small ones here. Possible oh. triangle. Professor Allen getting excited there. You know, it's, it, you know I'm always pulling for the small guy, right? <laughs> Three and a half minutes here, a little bit less. Back to the close guard. You know, I say pulling for the small guy, but none of these guys are small. <laughs> no, no, they're way bigger than we are. Sort now, of a Eddie Bravo move here. Right? Yeah, I want to see if Nicky Rod latches onto that hip, kind of sprawls out. You know, some people have success opening the close guard with that body lock. 
you got to be patient with it, but it can work. I've seen it many times. Nice hip movement there. Roberto possibly in on a leg here. Yeah, but it looks like it's more of a control position. Nice now, I like how he, if he keeps that ankle, there's a possible sweep there. If he keeps that ankle, you see how he has it. Oh, he's let it go now. And again, he's, it looks like he's on that double under. We've got two, uh, 240 left. Well, Nicky Rod able to get so low there. You see when his knees are wide, he's able to get so low to the mat. And he does have loose hips. He can really separate and go really low. Yeah, you know, I mean, you know, this is the first time I've seen him live. Of course, I've seen him on video. But uh, seeing him live here, definitely impressive. Sort of like seeing Homolu Bahal, right? When you see him up yeah, in Yeah, definitely, definitely some similarities there. He gets to his feet so quickly. And he, he's good at just getting those legs out of the way. Body lock Tornado here. sweep. Yeah, that's right. Hey. Oh. Great action by Roberto Jimenez here. Wow. You know, amazing, guys. Amazing, amazing. I got to give it to Roberto right now. He's been attacking nonstop. We got about a minute, 50 seconds. If he keeps this up, I mean, he's going to take this. Well, I, I think he's got to get the decision. At this point, I think he's done a lot of work here. Um, now as, it's not Chase, over. As you mentioned, you know, we're seeing Nicky Rod a little bit defensive here. And I think if it goes to, deci if it goes to the decision, Jimenez is going to get it. Yeah, Nicky Rod's looking really tired. Here he is trying one more time here. Can he get something going? No, and better. again, that mouth getting more open. He's getting a bit more tired. We might see a big score here. A little bit more than a minute left. Jimenez looking super calm in there, very composed. He's got gas in the tank for sure. <laughs> Man, I like the composure of Jimenez right now. Yeah, I think we're going to see Nicky Rod dive in again. You know, Nikki needs to separate and start going ballistic right now. Well, you know what? Now, the over, the, the, if it goes to decision, the decision is going to be based on just the overtime. So based on that, I think Nikki needs to really make something big happen here in the face of the, uh, for the judges to see. He's doing a good job standing up, but he hasn't made a whole lot of work out of that stand up. You know, he's able to stand up and disengage. 30 seconds left here. Nikki needs to make something happen right here. I don't think that was the right move from Nikki. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, he needs to separate and, and, and start moving laterally, right? I, I think he needed to kind of really just kind of go straight through the middle with the with the uh, margarita pass, really just drive in there, possibly get him in as a turtle uh, in, in way to defense, and then go to the back or look for a guillotine or something, front headlock. One last uh, exchange. Here we go. What's going to happen? Last 10 seconds of the match. Oh! So close there. Three seconds, Jimenez takes this. You know, one thing we forgot to mention is, right now we're doing, we're, we're, we're in a pandemic, so we don't know exactly how much training are these guys doing right now, right? True, true. So, you know, are these guys really training full time? Do they limit, well, are they limited to, to what, one or two partners? I got the paper here in front of me. I'm gonna go ahead and, I'm so confident, I'm gonna go ahead and circle Roberto Jimenez's name. Brandon, I, I circled that for you. There it is. Five there minutes ago. What a match. And let me tell you, Roberto better work on his recovery strategies because that was, a, that was a tough first round. Yes. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, this 